Hi, I'm here from Niche Advice. I thought I'd do a quick video around um, why should I pay a mortgage broker a fee? I think that's a big question and you get that quite a lot now. Um, there are all types of different types of mortgages uh, and mortgage propositions out there. So you've got your average mortgage broker, um, you've got then uh, your, obviously you've got your bank direct who will not charge you a fee. Um, you've got mortgage brokers that do charge a fee and then you've got mortgage brokers that do not charge a fee. So uh, they all sort of do different things as such. So let's talk about the, the banks. First of all, obviously, um, as you bank with them, they don't charge you a fee, or even if you don't bank with them, you can go direct to them. They will not charge you a fee. Many of them will not give you advice. Um, and the ones that will do, uh, obviously you've got to go to the bank, you've got to go to the branch, you've got to um, book an appointment with them. Some of them could take a couple of weeks for the appointments even. Some of them are actually over the phone. So they've just got a very uh, basic proposition whereby they can offer mortgages just by, for themselves, you know, their own products as such, and they're not whole of the market. So if you're looking for more of a holistic approach and you're trying to get a better understanding of what your options are, generally you will speak to a broker. So there's two categories of brokers. There's traditionally brokers that will not charge a fee, and there are brokers that will charge a fee. Um, we're seeing more and more of these type of sort of online brokers that do not charge a fee. And everything really comes down to service and their knowledge. Um, if you come to us, for example, the majority of our cases we will charge £499, not paid until completion of the deal. And that's important. Very different models are out there. So there are some brokers who will charge you a fee up front. And there's quite a lot of them. Some of the estate agents are saying essentially that are linked to brokers. They'll charge a fee up front. So they may charge £199 up front for an application fee. And then the rest of it they may uh, do on offer, for example. So just because you've got the mortgage offer, though, it doesn't mean that you've, you're actually going to buy a property. There's lots of things that could go wrong in the transaction. So, but there is a, that's a proposition there. Uh, our proposition is pretty clear really, we'll charge you, um, on most cases, there are some cases, some adverse cases and some specific cases we'll charge you more, but on most cases we'll charge you £499, uh, that's inclusive of VAT, not payable until you have actually purchased your house. Um, experience tells us, you know, there'll be all sorts of things that could go wrong, you could lose the property, they can decide not to sell it to you, there'll be problems with the property and you may not purchase it. So I'm not, I'm not a big fan of sort of charging people up front, um, and I'm not a fan of charging people when you haven't actually delivered, essentially. You may have delivered on the mortgage, but at the end of the day, are they in the house? Have they got their keys? And, and, and I think we've got to go down that route. From, from my perspective, that's how we proposition or, uh, you know, I set out our proposition. There are other mortgage brokers out there. So there are some big mortgage brokers out there with 20, 300, 200, 300 staff, and they will not charge you a fee. So they may have a large panel of lenders similar to us, but they will not charge you a fee. Um, so why would you come to someone like us and not them? Well, essentially, it's because of our experience, because of what we do, because of the level of knowledge we have, the, the, the dedication we've got into the, into the process. Getting a mortgage is not just about getting a rate. Otherwise, you might as well go to the comparison sites and get your rate and go to the lender. It's not as simple as that, especially when you're dealing with more complex types of mortgages. You know, um, the broker needs to understand um, lots of different things, how an account is perceived, which lenders will do certain things, criteria-based lenders. Yes, there are systems out there that will help, but uh, you know, getting access to a good broker, it's almost like saying um, there is a, um, there's a, well, I used to say Skoda, but let's just say there is a cheap car for £5,000 and there's a Mercedes for £30,000. They're both cars, they both get you from A to B. Why, why, would, you, why would you go to the, the Mercedes then? Well, it's basically because of what you need. Um, if you need more support, if you need better understanding around it, if you need a broker that's more experienced rather than a, maybe a self-employed broker. A lot of, a lot of uh, brokerages, large brokerages, they work on a self-employed basis. So you've got a self-employed broker um, coming in, maybe doing it for a year or two and, 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 and advise you on a mortgage. Well, that's different for someone who's been in the industry for 20 years, who's got knowledge, who, who's got an understanding of the product and has done many products like this in the past. So everything that comes down to um, trust, it comes down to what you, what's perceived to be the advice knowledge. Um, I think for £499, uh, we do a very good job. And some of the cases, I mean, the amount of emails and documentations and conversations you need to have with clients to get the cases through, it's vital um, you seek advice. It is the biggest 
uh, investment most people make. And whether it's a buy to let or, or, or a purchase, um, especially when you come down a buy to let market, it's more specific and really you should be going with experience because there are all sorts of things available. It's not just about pressing pressing a button it never is with any of the lenders you know some of the lenders that we we recommend are maybe 10th 11th 15th on a list of top 10 but there are reasons why we go down that route whether it's affordability whether it's uh, property criteria whether it's applicant criteria whether it's to do with um uh, debt to income ratios whether it's got to do with what debt they're running and keeping it on whether it's got to do with pension contributions or second jobs so all of those things a broker will have the, the right broker will have the knowledge and will be able to give you suitable advice so um, that's really about it in regards to why you would pay someone like me 499 pounds for example inclusive of VAT for, for a service and why you wouldn't you know and, and, and it's a free world and the way we've set out our proposition is look it is a free world you're not tied into us I don't really want to deal with clients that think they are beheld to us and are tied into us um, and that's why we always pay, pay a complete on, on, on completion so you know you can get my advice and if you don't think that's suitable or you didn't like the, the way we worked with you then you can always you can free free to go somewhere else and i think that's the best proposition you can have in terms of you know leaving it to the client to make a decision thank you so much